You have visitors, but these visitors aren't really converting into customers. Hey, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna to share with you seven cool hacks that'll increase your conversion rate. If you look at the neilpatel.com homepage, you'll notice that there's a countdown clock. That countdown clock is accurate. It resembles when an offer is going to end. If you leverage countdown clocks on your website, you'll notice that you'll get more conversions. When I put a countdown clock on neilpatel.com, I notice an 11% increase in conversions just from that one little tweak. Second strategy for you, use exit pop-ups. You'll also notice on neilpatel.com, I have an exit pop-up. Mine's an animated GIF. It's one of the highest converting elements for me when it comes to emails. I even show in the background what you're gonna get and how my rankings are really high, right? Because it's related to my exit offering. When you show people what they're gonna get within your exit intent by using animated GIF within the background, you'll generate more conversions. And you can use the tool Hello Bar to do this. The third strategy that I have for you is $1 trials. No matter what product or service you have, you'll notice that some people are gonna buy. For all the people that aren't gonna buy, which is the majority, offer them one last ditch effort to convert them. I usually do a $1 trial, or you can do a 30-day free trial with a credit card up front. Test a few different types of things. You can email these people the offer so that way it's not affecting the conversions on all the people on the front end of your website. And then see how many people you can get to convert. On neilpatel.com, when I used to sell informational products, I learned that by doing a $1 trial, I increased my revenue by 15%. It really was that simple. The fourth strategy that I have for you is to make your web page more personalized. And you can do this through geotargeting. Why not personalize your web page and include the person's city within your copy? So if you look at one of my pages, you'll notice that I put your city within my headline. By doing this, I was able to increase my conversions by over 20%. Why? The page is more personalized. It makes you feel that I'm giving an offer just for you. That's what happens when you put a city within your headline. Strategy number five, pick snippet. What pick snippet is, it allows you to send a personalized image-based email to your readers. So you'll notice on Neil Patel, if you're opted into my email list and you're trying to watch a webinar but you don't join, I'll send you a customized email message with me holding up a sign with your name in there. I don't really take a picture each and every single time. I use a software called Pick Snippet. That's a tool I use. And it allows me to dynamically insert your name into the image so that way when you load the email, it's customized and you're like, oh wow, Neil sent me this personalized email holding up an image or a sign with my name on it. I'm much more likely to click through and convert. It works extremely well. The sixth strategy I have for you is remarketing. I know it's been out there for years, but very few people do it. If 95 plus percent of your visitors aren't converting into customers, why aren't you retargeting them all over the web and offering them different types of offers or educational material to get them back over to your website and then convert them? You can use Google remarketing, you can use YouTube remarketing and create videos, pre-roll videos before. You can do remarketing on Facebook. The possibilities are endless. Remarketing is a really effective channel. And I do something that's very specific in which everyone who visits my checkout or credit card page and doesn't convert, I remarket those people and show them a video on Facebook and YouTube of what they're gonna get if they were to buy and I answer all the objections that they may have. It's a really simple strategy that I use to increase sales. The seventh and last strategy I have for you is quizzes. There's a tool called Lead Quizzes that I like using, and what Lead Quizzes does, it allows you to create a quiz that gets people engaged. I found that when I create a quiz, roughly 60% of the people go through it and opt into a lead. Let's say you're visiting neilpatel.com and you're watching videos like this or reading my blog posts and you wanna increase your traffic, right? That's why you're here on my website. I'll end up creating a quiz. Let's say the quiz is learn how to grow your traffic. And the quiz may ask you certain things like, what type of website do you have? Have you tried SEO, pay-per-click? And it asks you five or six or seven or eight questions. And then at the end, it says, wanna see the results for the best way to grow your traffic? Put in your name and email to get the results. That's how you generate leads from quizzes. So if you leverage these seven tactics, you will start generating more conversions and sales using unorthodox strategies.